What is up, survivors? We are on Genesis Part 2, and for today's taming video, we're going to be talking about the Maywing, the platypus, flying squirrel type of dude that you've probably seen if you've been playing on the map. These guys are a little bit of everywhere out here, um, just kind of wandering around on the ground, or you might see them flying across the air, or you might see them in water. All over this beginning area, pretty much, you're going to find these guys. We're going to talk about how to tame them, generally where to find them, and then all of the cool abilities that these guys have. So let's get into the taming part first. Alrighty, so May Wings can typically be found all around the greener, nicer area of the map. Pretty much everywhere you're going to see them just wandering around like this. They're pretty passive. The only time they're going to aggro is if you come after them or if something, something else comes after them. They're going to be just wandering around on the ground. Now, we could try to follow this thing around and build a wall around it with billboard signs or dino gates or whatever, but the easiest method is this trank, this net gun that uh, you can use with the harpoon launcher. Just net ammunition, which should go up and hit this dude. And boink. This will net the creature for a minute, giving us plenty of time to knock these guys out. They don't have a whole lot of torpor. And as you can see, two shots is only level 12, but it's already out with just the standard crossbow, standard trank arrows. Um, nothing too crazy. You can remove the net kind of like a bolo if you want to, but this net gun on the harpoon launcher is absolutely amazing. Um, the Maywings are omnivores, so they'll eat meat or they'll eat berries, but if you're looking for the kibble of choice, it's going to be just the basic kibble. Um, torpor doesn't seem to go down too far. This is a lower level, so there's just not a whole lot of torpor here. Um, but with bait, if you have kibble, you might not necessarily need to actually use any narcotics. Um, this thing's going to eat fairly soon, so we shouldn't have to worry too much about it. Because it's only a level 20, or level 12 rather, it should only take one, maybe two at the most to tame. We'll hang out till this thing, oh, no, there it goes, I already at one. So it's going to take two. That's not too difficult. But like I said, it's omnivore, so you can throw berries, throw meat, whatever you want to inside of them. So they're easy to tame, they're docile, they're really not going to start stuff with you. Plus, if you get the jump on them with a net gun, they are going to pose absolutely no threat. Uh, the trick would just be watching what's going on around you, potentially killing off other creatures that are be coming after you, but that's pretty much it. Net gun's the best bet. Like I said, you could wander around and build a wall around this guy if you wanted to, to cage him in if you wanted to. Um, because we have the tech suits automatically in Genesis Part 2, I think you have a leg up because you could be hovering over top of this guy and potentially build a wall around him. But honestly, if you have access to a harpoon launcher and, and a net gun, the net gun is going to be worth its weight in gold with taming just about any creature on this map, period. Um, that's it. Once you're tamed, that's it. They don't have a gender, which seems kind of odd, but you can actually breed them anyway. So don't necessarily pay attention to that. Um, they do have a saddle. We will look at that saddle real quick. The Maywing saddle is unlocked at level 19. It needs to be crafted at a smithy, and it's just fiber, hide, and some metal ingot. Pretty much it. Pretty simple tame. Um, it's really just watching the area around these guys. And like I said, the net gun's the best option. If you're trying to tame one of these guys low level, you could totally do make like wooden billboard signs or dino gates, like I said, and just kind of follow it around and then slowly build it. Well, not slowly, you want to do it very quickly. Build a box out of it. Because it's not going to naturally jump up in the air unless it's threatened. So unless you attack it or something else attacks it, it's just going to wander around on the ground so you don't have to worry about that too much. Um, other option, oddly enough, with these guys is they don't have an oxygen stat. So if you see them in the water, you could knock them out in the water the same way. Um, you could hover around them, build something around them, keeping caged in, tame them underwater. So if you do knock one out and it falls into the water, don't worry about it. They don't have an oxygen stat, so they're not going to drown. Anyhow, that's taming. Once tamed, these guys have an enormous amount of really cool abilities. So like I said, they are omnivores, so they'll eat just about anything you can give them. They'll uh, also... What am I doing? Pooping. Okay, sorry. I'm trying to show you something. But as you can see, it'll harvest berries for you. It'll harvest meat. It'll harvest um, hide as well, so you can get all that stuff. As a level 17, we can see the basic stats aren't, aren't really all that bad. Its stamina usage is pretty good when we start doing the stuff that we're going to show you here in a second. Its weight capacity is pretty good for the creature of its size too, making this thing a pretty good hauler because of how fast it's going to move. We'll talk about that. Nursing effectiveness. This is one of the special abilities that this guy possesses. Many of the abilities that this thing possesses. It has the ability to nurse dinos for you. Essentially what this thing can do is act as a feeding trough, but only for baby dinos. Typically, when you have um, infant dinos and you're raising them, when they're in the baby status, they will not eat out of a feeding trough and you have to hand feed them. If this guy is picking them up, it doesn't have to be that way. It'll pick it up, put it in a little basket, and then whatever food is in the inventory of the Maywing, it will in turn feed to the babies. 
Um, so what you do is you you can pick up the baby and any babies in range you'll be able to just pick up. You can carry up to four at a time and it will nurse your baby dinos for you. Um, the effectiveness obviously increases the effectiveness of doing so. Uh, the other option with this baby is you can actually hijack uh, other baby dinos on the map. So you can hijack them by getting close to a baby dino and being able to hit this pickup. It'll pick up the baby and take it and it will be yours. So you have that option to uh, essentially steal other offspring of other creatures, which seems like a horrible life thing to do, but it's our, we do what we need to do to survive. I will say combining the May Wing with a mod like KBD, like Kraken's Better Dinos, where you can have a multitude of baby dinos around on the map may be a little OP because this guy can just wander around and snatch up and most of them up pretty easily. So you have Baby Snatcher, you have one that can raise animals for you, and then you have this awesome jump ability that turns into a glide. Um, much like the Rock Drake glide ability, but faster and more maneuverable. You can swoop up to build up momentum, to cross more distance, and as you can see, I can cover pretty good amount of ground so long as I'm going downhill with it. And like I said, you can kind of go down and pick up some steam to graze yourself back up again. So you already have this awesome flying ability, which is pretty cool. If you're in midair, and let's say you want to hover, so if you hold in spacebar, it'll hold up this charge attack or whatever your jump key is, and your secondary attack will actually make him expand these little flaps out, and he'll kind of hover down, straight down in place for a nice stopping if you need to just kind of stop on a dime with it. It's very helpful for that too. It's really easy to overshoot your landings when you're gliding with these guys because of how fast they are. When they're in this gliding um, format, which they'll like scoot across the ground when they hit the ground or whether they're gliding, they'll break rocks and trees and everything in their way. So um, not a whole lot's going to stop you when you guys are traveling around these dudes. They do not have an oxygen, so he can go right underwater with this guy. He doesn't move nearly as fast underwater um, because I'm kind of I'm dealing with the momentum of me gliding, but this will slow down here in a second. Um, it doesn't move terribly fast underwater, but the ability to just go underwater without the need of oxygen is pretty awesome. Um, obviously, combining this with the stats that, or combining this with the beginning armor that you get for all the tech gear, and you can stay underwater for any foreseeable amount of time and harvest some underwater resources, do whatever you got to do that way. The Maywing is an early tame for sure, but probably one of the most beneficial. Highly recommend, you're not, this isn't a fighting creature, you're not going to be fighting a whole lot of stuff with this, so I would highly recommend like stamina and weight, be able to haul things back and forth very quickly, and have the ability to just, just fly never endingly. Um, just on the little stamina that I have with the low level that I have, you can already see I can cruise around the map and underwater pretty good for a certain amount of time. Um, Maywing is where it's at, I think. It's one of my favorite ones, I think, so far. Um, when you're also when you're on the ground and do the right click instead of throwing out the flaps You'll actually do like an aoe damage to things in the area sometimes. It's kind of catchy but it's kind of like glitchy sometimes it'll work and sometimes it won't Let me try it again Sometimes it'll work sometimes it won't it'll harvest berries for you sometimes I notice, but it does a little knockback and a little bit of damage when you do that as well um, You can use the like the glide sort of like a dive bomb for a griffin But it's not nearly as far as uh, as far as dealing damage It's not nearly as good as like the griffin dive bomb but you can use that momentum to pump out more damage. Again, not a fighting creature. This is a hauling travel mount that can get across the map incredibly easy. So like I said, things like stamina and weight are gonna be your friends with these guys. They're hilarious. Um, the other thing to mention is these guys don't lay regular eggs. If left to their own, they will lay eggs, but they'll lay different types of eggs that you would need for the current kibble. So instead of just laying a maywing egg, it may, a, it may lay a basic egg, it may lay a simple egg, it may lay like, it'll lay the eggs that you need to just make the kibble right off the bat. Essentially, there's just a chance whenever they drop an egg of what type of egg it's gonna be. Obviously, the more may, may wings you have, uh, the better chances you have of getting better eggs, but these will do from basic to extraordinary to do all the types of kibble. So. Uh, you don't need to go tame Mayudis to get the high-end kibble anymore. Just a couple of these guys, which are fairly simple to tame, as you can see. And you got your kibble farm straightened up and set up. All in all, the Maywing has a, is an incredible utility mount. It is not going to be a fighting mount, but it's going to be an incredible utility mount for you. And I highly suggest you guys check these out. Um, they look like a flying squirrel with a duck build platypus sort of thing going on. I think that's what they got going on with them. That's kind of what they look like. Toss between the two. Uh, super cool, super cute, and uh, these guys are fun to be used. The travel is insane. Alrighty guys, that's it for the Maywing Taming. If you liked the video, hit that like button, hit that sub button. I will see you guys on the next one.